Happy Monday, everybody. Skin is skinning and ready to make some breakfast. I just opened a box, a PR box, and it was Kung Fu Panda themed with lip gloss inside. So it's from Tower 28, but I'm keeping this wooden basket because I want to steam some dumplings or some rice rolls. I happen to have all of the ingredients to make some ha chang fun, which are shrimp rice noodle rolls. And it's funny because I found it from one Asian girl and then all these other creators are recreating her recipe, but I know the girl that made it up, so shout out to her for doing this. I wanted to share it because she's the freaking goat for even putting this online. All you need is rice paper, a few onions. I may be guilty for making this last night and some shrimps. And I highly, highly recommend it because I already tried it and it was fucking bomb, so. <laughs> You only need a few, but I only just want to make a ton. I feel like this can make about like 12 rice rolls. The shrimp, you just run it under cold water and then you let it defrost. It's already coming apart from the big clunks. Next, we're gonna have a clean cutting board and we're going to chop up some scallions. Obviously you have to rinse these. I like a ton of scallions. So I'm gonna take out like this many. And then we have our Kung Fu Panda steamer. This is where it says Kung Fu Panda, by the way. Never mind, guys. I can't use my Kung Fu Panda steamer. It's too big for my pan. So I have to just use this without it now. Sad face. This recipe is surprisingly so, so easy, and it takes about 10 minutes, but a lot of my rice paper was broken. It's okay. We can move on. Basically, all you want to do is you want to chop up the shrimp and scallions into bite-sized pieces. I love a ton of scallions and cilantro personally, so I just roll it up, and then I brush it with oil so it doesn't stick to the steamer. Repeat this as many times as you'd like and with however many pieces you want to eat and that's pretty much it. And you fill your pot with water and steam it on low heat so that it can be cooked within five to seven minutes. While the rice noodles are steaming, we're gonna prep the sauce in the meantime. These are the ingredients that you're gonna need and you're gonna mix it up and you can add peanut butter on top. You can add sriracha, which I like to do as well. So there's two versions you can make and it's just so, so good. <laughs> I know what it tastes like. Mmm, the hoes gonna love this. Mmm, using the whole bag of shrimp was a good move. So even for this next recipe, I was a bit intimidated to film it and make it at the same time, but I promise it's really, really easy. You're gonna buy some Taiwanese cabbage and chop it up into shreds. This makes it taste really fresh. And then you're gonna get some pork butt steaks. You dip it into this flour, marinade and egg wash, and then some panko crust. Once everything is coated, you have canola oil and the way to know it's ready is if you put a little bit of the panko crust and it starts sizzling. So I let that cook over medium heat for about like six minutes, I want to say, and then I flipped it when I saw it was golden brown. You'll know once you see like that beautiful color. And I cooked a bunch of them and then assembled them quickly. I was actually in a rush while making this because we were about to go watch a movie. So I was going on a double date with Allison and then I assembled them so we could bring them inside the theater, which I hope wasn't too much of a disturbance, but super easy and quick. You just add katsu sauce you can buy from the store, the cabbage you drizzle with lemon juice and a bunch of kewpie mayo. And it's so delicious. You have to try it. It's so affordable and each sandwich comes out to about like $4. So good. It is 6.32 right now and I have a couple friends coming over at 8 p.m. So I'm going to make us hot soba. These are all the dishes that I have from Daiso to put soba on. I feel like it's really cute for the table setting. This is like the only time I can really dress up and host a dinner party. So I want to use them, but then that means we'd be having cold soba. I wish there were Asian bowls that were really cute, but I feel like all the designs are always like very oriental. Not in a bad way, but I need some aesthetic Asian bowl designs ASAP. But we'll make these work. I'm cheating and I got frozen shrimp tempura. I wanted to bake them, but 
I actually have to fry them, so now I have to get out my oil, which is great. Another cheat I'm doing is I'm going to be using this soba concentrate and dashi, and I'm going to make my own hot broth to enjoy with it. Oh, but I just said I was going to do cold soba. I can't decide. I can't decide. Maybe I'll just do hot broth on the side. Usually in the winter time, I find it really hard to remember to eat my vegetables. So the easiest way for me to do this is by marinating cucumbers. And it's just so easy for meal prep. I used to make it for my roommates all the time in college. The first thing you're going to do is chop up cucumbers and minced garlic. I'm combining the Chinese and Korean method because I like to add cilantro into mine. But I am going to make the marinade over low heat on the stove because that's how you quickly get the aromatics into the cucumbers if you don't have time to let it rest overnight. I believe the technique is called sous vide and you pour it over your marinated cucumbers and wrap it in food wrap and put it in the fridge. So I did this within 30 minutes. All of my friends could still taste the garlicky vinegar flavors, which was really good. So if you're doing this quickly, highly recommend. I just mixed up the minced garlic and rice wine vinegar as well as mirin plus a little bit of soy sauce and just let it cook for a couple minutes over low heat. Oh, do we? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Damn, this is crazy. You have to do it. Oh, fuck, this is fat. What the hell? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, yeah. that's kind of. Wait, Cheers. mine's the only full cup. All right, guys, for this next recipe, it's going to be my laksa on a budget. And if you don't know what laksa is, it's basically this spicy coconut broth with toppings like fish and chicken. So I'm going to make it at home. The first thing I do is I cook up some shallots, ginger, and garlic to cook some aromatics. And these are the two pastes that I use, fish and laksa paste. After you toast the aromatics for a bit, you then add the two and coconut milk. And you get this really beautiful orange spicy broth. And to add flavor, I add prime and fish balls inside, which you can get at any Asian grocery market. The nice thing about broths is that you can just mix in taste as you go. So if you want it sweeter, you add more coconut milk. If you want it more flavorful, you add more seafood. And if you want it more savory, you add the paste. <laughs> But this is how I meal prep it. I basically pour it into containers so the next day I can just cook some noodles and toppings and have it ready to go.
already prepped and I just have to chop these things up. And then this is what I'm gonna use for my chicken marinade. Um, I'm gonna boil this into the laksa. This is what I had in my last video and this is how I made my chicken to top it. I think it's just better to cook the vegetables fresh so you can have it all together. And then you basically toss everything in and assemble it. I love a ton of scallions and cilantro and my favorite noodles to use are glass noodles. So if you guys tried this recipe, let me know or tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it, but this was so easy and I highly recommend it. Thank you.